G'day guys, welcome back to the show. Today I'm fishing solo on Skirts Up and we've got the big gear. We're going for yellowfin or marlin or dolphin fish. The warm water still is here off the coast, but I'm going to put a photo of rip charts up right now just to see what I've seen and what you guys can look out for if you're on rip charts. So as you can see, there's a good current pushing in here from the south and one going north and you can see in the middle there's a bit of slack water and there's also a temperature change. For yellowfin tuna, you want to look for temperature changes in the current and slack water that's where you'll find it because that's where the bait stacks up and yeah you'll find the elephant there so i've just pulled up to a little private fad here i'm just going to have a cast for a few dolphin fish and yeah see how we go and it's funny because this is my third time being out solo for yellowfin tuna the two first times i got one both times and i've probably been out 15 to 20 times with mates and never even hooked the yellowfin but both times i've come solo i've got one so yeah i'm not expecting yellowfin but it's funny how sometimes that works anyway We'll chuck some stick baits around and see if we can get a couple of dollies on the board. <laughs> it's gonna freaking break my rod in a second. Baby dolls. I even hit that big lure. Baby dolly on the little squidgy wriggler. Took me about 20 attempts to actually hook it, but absolutely beautiful fish. He'll grow up in about two years and become a big bull dolphin. Fish. Here, mate. Well, that was a bit of fun. It's an absolutely beautiful sunrise, but got one fish. <laughs> so. There was a lot of small dogs there. I did see some bigger fish, but anyway, we'll come back in the afternoon and see how we go. But yeah, we'll punch out now, get out past the shelf, and uh, yeah, I'll see you out there. Right, uh, we made it out to the shelf about 2,000 meters deep, so I might go for a dive quickly. But uh, the lures of choice today are a big vibe, which actually caught my last solo yellowfin, a diver, a squidgy that's caught fish before, and a dirty big skirt. Actually, I might use a different skirt, but a big skirt uh, that's never caught a damn thing. But I think if you call your boat skirts up, you kind of got to run a skirt. But no, nah, I will run a skirt just because there might be a few marlin out here. So I feel like if there is, or some big dolphin fish, they might eat the skirt over a big bible or something like that. Lures are out. I even put my witch doctor out when I'm marlin and tuna fishing. I just think it helps. Uh, yeah, we're plotting along now. Looking at all the birds and all the other boats out here. <laughs> Haven't seen much yet. Trolled for about two hours so far. I'm ready. It's very, 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 very quiet. So I think it's beer o'clock. We'll keep trolling, but you know, I'm losing hope slowly. <laughs> Each minute that goes past. I'm seeing less birds, less birds, less birds. Actually, I've seen probably maybe five birds today, so yeah. It's very quiet, but who knows? I might get a blind strike, but I might find fish, so. Still keep filming, still keep high spirits, but yeah. I don't know if we're gonna get anything. Our first high bird of the day. He's not even that high. He's smoking that good shit. <laughs> There's actually a few more beers. <laughs> Let's start again. Maybe I'm being spoken that good shit. Uh, there's actually a few more birds here than all the other places I've been to. Like I've seen the most birds, maybe about 30 or so, in this maybe 15 minute area. And I'm just kind of putting back towards like the fads slowly. So when I do run into the fads, I can kind of just go straight in and they'll be there. Um, yeah, like, I mean, you can do all that research on the, the charts and stuff at the end of the day. If you're not gonna see much out here, you're kind of just gonna troll back to where you wanna go. So that's what I'm doing. And yeah, a few more beers and a few more birds would be great. Oh, baby! Hang on! I don't know what it is, but we are on. We are on. Oh, double! Oh, double! 
Whatever it is, I've got that drag on tight as shit, too. Come on. Still got him. Oh, solo is so freaking hard, man. Please tell me you still have him. I think I dropped it. No! Oh! More! I just want to swear at the top of my lungs, but little kids, that's not alright. Even when you're really, really, really angry, like right me right now. Oh, damn it. Anyway, you guys just saw I lost two. The first fish was an absolute crack. I don't know what it was. But that thing was like lock drag, just peeling. And I could see on the sounder, I marked heaps of fish down about 30 meters, so probably yellow fin. The two Tiagras, which had a squidgy on that one, and the one that went really hard was a the Vibe that I hooked my last yellow fin on. But anyway, I'm going to go straight back to where I just hooked up, and hopefully they're still sitting there waiting for me. Oh, that just, oh, that really, really does suck. After all those. Oh, all these hours are just trolling, seeing nothing, and then bang. Anyway, what can you do? That's fishing. It's almost three o'clock. I'm not gonna lie, I think the tuna win this time. I'll troll for maybe half an hour more, and then we'll head into the fads, because if I'm gonna come all this way out, at least I'm gonna try and get a feed. So I'll try and get some dollies before we head in. But yeah, I'll troll for probably half an hour more towards the fad, and then I think I've done, I've probably done about 10 laps of this area, up, down, left, right, same as where I hooked up, so it's definitely going to haunt me, but you never know. to a different pad. This is the last pad we'll go to. How many times do they want to hit that? Might be, oh, might be legal. Oh, he's going skips. I wish I had my head cam on right now. Oh, oh he's going skips in front of the boat. I can't. Oh, no. It's not a bad one, it's not huge, but good keeper size. See that sly dog just hooked perfect, first cast when I got here, a good 70 centimeter dolly. He's a fat one, but he's not huge, but can't complain with that. I'm actually done done so heading in thanks for watching I'll see you next time I don't even know if this isn't gonna be an episode or not but maybe you'll see it on TikTok or YouTube I don't know but anyway you win some you lose most so that yellow fin I'll get you next time if you want any merch or snatches offshoreadventures.com.au thanks for the support see you next time Phew.